Okay. This should be it. Okay. Well, hopefully this does not go too terribly, but we will find out. Three, two, one, go! Oops. Wonderful start. That's fine. So this is Legacy D-Row. One of the rows that still does not have a speed run on it, so whatever I get right now will be world record. I should go for like a 12 hour run or something. Just go to sleep in the middle of it. Make it look like it's just the longest row in the world. Oh, I'm surprised I got that first try. When I played through this earlier, that level took me a long time. Also going to turn down the volume on my TV a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, I also forgot to set this to offline mode. Oh well. Next time. Oh crud, I forgot to change that title card. Oh well, I'll remember to do that next time. Don't want people to think I'm playing the X row right now, that would be a lie. People might say, Toaster, Toaster you lied to us. I'll never watch your channel again. You lying, lying man. That's what they'll say. That's what people on the internet say. That's how they sound. Oof. Thought that was the other Gauss turret. Was not paying attention. Sure, I'll take it. That's good enough. I finished. I should see if it's possible to get that on the way down. Oh well. 
I should check that out some other time. God damn it. Oh, oh well. Oh, floor drones. I never expect them to get me, but they're still they're still a threat sometimes. Sometimes when you play stupid. Very nice. Ooh, let's see if I can do this local first try. Ooh. I don't like what those uh what those drones are doing there. Very barely of you drones. Oh, ow. I hate when I do that. When I try jumping over a mine, and it's almost like I'm just aiming at it. I panic. I don't know if I should should go further, or try to pull back, and I just land on it. Oh, okay. This one may take a little bit. Oh, ho! Uh, yeah, that'll do. There we go. Very nice. Okay, this one takes some some focus. Ooh. Right. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't take that much focus. This one will be interesting to route. Oops. That's not at all what I wanted. I guess that's not true. It was close to what I wanted. Ah! Fuck. Need to jump sooner there. So I don't, I don't hit that ramp like that. Perfect. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'm learning. This is the learning process. Jump higher on those. Oh, 
There we go. That's okay there. I like that you can do that. Oh my god. Oh. Oh boy. Um I was going to say I like that you can go through those blocks like that on this level. It's fun. And just like that I'm already a quarter of the way through. Maybe this won't go so bad. He says, knowing it was a lie. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I, I have no idea how to do this quickly. just does perfect you know what let's die on that mine just just for completion sake There's a drone timing you can get that's kind of nice on this level, but I totally missed it there. Um, hmm. Oh, god damn it. I was doing that earlier. Very annoying. decided she wanted she wanted to stand on my keyboard god damn it cat oh right floor drones Okay, that was okay. Oop. Well, I put so much work into high scoring of oh, oh god damn it. High scoring a bunch of these levels. You'd think some of the muscle memory would stay stay in, but it does not. 
It does not. about as good as that level can go. There we go. Oh, this level. I have first on this level, and I put so much work into it because I was convinced I could get zeroth, but never happened. Alright, and then this one. Yeah. Oops! Fuck! Ow! Gotta be careful here. This level is dangerous. Someone could get hurt. Oops. Oh my god, I want to jump over it. There. That will do just fine. Oh god, I seriously overestimated how long this was going to take. Well, I mean, there are worse things to have... Right. There are worse things to get bad estimations on. For example, underestimating how long this would take, I think, would be much more frustrating. Instead, this is just a pleasant surprise. Fuck! Okay, I'll take it. Alright, this level. This will be an interesting one to figure out, too. Just figure out, you know, what the best, uh... best doors to go through at any given time are. I'm just gonna get this gold, because this isn't episode run, and I don't remember how, uh, the last, uh, level's like. On the other hand, I also don't remember time ever being a problem when I was practicing this earlier, so it probably doesn't matter. Ow. Yeah! Okay. Very nice. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered at all. Even if I got in here with, like, ten seconds left, I'd still have more than enough time to beat this level. Oop. I can start with that. If I was low on time. I'm getting lazy and careless. Started talking about how easy this level was. It's messing me up. Come on, Toaster. Get your head in the game. Okay, 
now I need to not hit mines. And that went okay. Okay. Sure. Good enough. <coughs> oh god. Okay. It's important to remember you can never can never get comfortable in this game. Nothing is free. for the drones for three hours. Can probably run under some of those, but... Oh! Oh my god! Okay. Hmm. Should also probably try to figure out the best order to get these switches in at some point. Because obviously, some of them you don't need until you're going to the door. So you could probably, you know, there's probably some route that is much better than, <laughs> great, than another one. I'm not going to try to be fancy and go for all that gold this time. There we go. Uh, oh boy. Oh, close. Last drone set. That was not close. That is, though. That's nice. halfway through. Okay, this is going fine. I don't know what I was thinking with that two-hour estimate. I mean, again, it was a really, really high estimate intentionally, but still, even, even for the sake of being an overestimate, it was pretty dang high. Heck it. This rate, maybe I'll just do a second run after this. You know what it might be? I think it's that I was comparing this to X-Row. Where with X-Row, when I hadn't practiced, yeah, it took me like an hour and a half, because it was hard. I would die on most levels, whereas this is D-Row, which is easy. <laughs> like, I've died sometimes, but most of the levels, you just kind of breeze through them. And I mean, X-Row has its easy levels too, just not nearly as many as this. The easy level to hard level ratio is much, uh, much smaller on X-Row. Or, yeah, smaller. That level, or this level right here, is fun to try to high score. Thank you. 
Boop, boop, ba doop. Nope. Okay. There it is. Yeah, and a bunch of these levels I died on several times when I was practicing the row earlier today. Like this one, for instance, but... But once I know what I'm doing, it's just so easy. Oh my goodness. There I go. Yeah, this one's also gonna take some routing to figure out. So there's clearly a better route than what I do. Also pretty sure one of those switches you don't need. Okay, this level takes a little focus if... If you want to do it well, it takes a little focus. Because there's drone timing right here. But then you need to also make sure you get out at a certain time. Which involves beating this drone into there, damn it. Actually, I'm pretty sure you need to beat that drone into that tunnel. Like 60% sure. That's sure enough for me. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Ow. Oh, hey, Muzz. Well, once I figured out the drone timings on this, this... I started liking this level a lot more, but... Yeah, it, uh, it can be tricky. And then not there, but after this one. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what my least favorite level in the row is. I'm pretty sure I know what my least favorite level in Eero is, because I was looking at it a little bit earlier. That's the last one, because it's terrible and I hate that level. E1904, just the worst. Oh my god. This is also a level that a route would come in handy on. I'm sure it'll end up being something like this, but... No idea where those drones are, so... Uh, that's right. It, that's the way to do it. Ow, damn it. That's the way to do it, yeah. So, Muzz, I don't know how long you've been watching, but, uh... I noticed that my estimate of probably around an hour and a half is way too high. This is looking to be much closer to an hour run. Yeah. Oh shit, that rocket's in the way. There we go. Hey, improvising. Works out every time. Never fails. You're never gonna die. No one's ever died playing this game. Oh! Oof. Oh, what am I even doing? I'm being so careless right now. Oh my god, just go there, ninja. There you go. That's all it takes. Uh, 
you didn't submit it because you didn't want to submit one plus hour runs for anything not extra. Yeah. And hey, now you know Legacy X-Row, one hour is also still too high for that. Okay, maybe if I just do this ten more times, that Gauss won't hit me. That'll... That's how to play this game. Do the same thing forever until it works. Uh, yeah, sure. That is good enough. Jump right in. Perfect. You also might notice I still forgot to set it on offline mode. But considering mine will be the only run submitted, I'm not too worried. Oh, let's see. That's the fun way to do this that I... Oop. Well, that's still the fun way to do this that I figured out. Eh. I think I'm just going to go up the other side for this, though. Very good. Oh, right, this level. I bet it would be easier to get that at the start than later. I was playing this before. It took me several tries to get to the exit switch, and that was getting annoying. Uh, yeah, I'll go down here. Well, yeah, that all worked out okay. Now watch me accidentally hit one of these drones coming down. Hey, I managed to not do it. Okay, let's see now. I'm not so sure about getting back up on this level. Oh, or that works fine, okay. When I was doing that earlier, that got me killed a bunch of times in a row. Um, yeah, there. Yeah, this is going okay. Ow! Every time. It's never the mines that kill me, it's the uncertainty that I'll jump past it. And so I pull back, but I can't pull back far enough, so I just pull back onto the mine. Oh yeah, I... I don't know when I'm submitting X-Row. Um, I have the house to myself through Saturday night, and that's why I'm doing these runs right now. Um, and so... I don't know if I'm going to do another X-Row run by the time I stop. Uh, if I do... Ah, oh, shit. If I, you know, plan to do more, ow, more X-Row runs, I'm just going to wait until I finish, but if not, I'll end up submitting the one I have, so it's looking like, ah, eh, it's looking like Saturday night. And I guess you live in Australia, so for you it would be like Sunday afternoon or something. Uh, there we go. Yeah, golf convinced me that uh, I should just do D-Row tonight and E-Row tomorrow, as opposed to more X-Row runs, so that's what I'm doing right now. And hey, I got... okay, well, I basically got what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not so sure about this level. Doing it quickly is, uh... Okay, fuck it, I'm just gonna wait for that drone. I don't, I don't feel like dealing with this. Uh, there we go. I see that you said something, but I'll read it in just a second. There we go. Ah, uh, oh, no. Okay. Okay, there it is. And then over there, and up, and up, and over. And this is not the last level in the episode. Um, ah, yeah, you're excited. Oh, that's right, this one. Yeah, I'll be fine on time. Um, yeah, you're excited for the leaderboards to be full. I am too. That'll be nice. It'll be nice having my name plastered all over the leaderboards. I'm surprised that actually got me up there. I didn't expect it to... Oh my god, I hate this level. I mean, I don't. It's kind of a fun level, but it scares me. Also, I just beat that level without dying. That surprises me. Uh, rocket, why? Oh. Honestly, if I manage sub one hour on this run, I might just submit it and not worry about doing another D-Row run. Ah! Because, I mean, honestly, I don't know how much time I'm going to save. Most of this run has been really good. It's just been a few levels here and there have taken a couple of minutes as opposed to, like, 30 seconds. Okay, what am I doing here? Toaster, get your head in the game. Ah, there we go. Favorite episode, you have zero on D15 or the last one, D14? I didn't see when you said that. Ah, oh. Ninjo. Ah. You know what? I'm being dumb. It'd just be so much easier to start by going that way. Ooh. Yeah, follow me, Rocket. Ah, yeah, this one. And yeah, I know how that can be. Having a favorite level or episode specifically because of a good run you got on it. It is a pretty good pretty good episode. I will not deny. Um uh, <laughs> this way is good enough. And this is the last one, so I don't need to worry about time at all. There we go. Perfect. Oh shit, you had Onage on it. Yeah, I had a similar experience. Uh, shortly after Ultimate came out, uh, I was going through all the levels backwards so that I wouldn't get super burned out on the ultimate levels. So, like, I started on A19 and then did B19 down to E and then went to... Oh! Then went to the 18s column and so on. And episode B19, I managed to get an Onage on it. Ah, that swamp. I managed to get an Onage on it on my first completion. Uh, got, I was like high scoring and uh, 
getting all the gold at the same time. And I managed this really good run on the whole episode, and uh, yeah, it stayed in Onage for a long time until Zela went through. Or Zela, rather. I was able to defend a few of my runs for a while, but uh, but people eventually managed to beat them. I don't think I still have any zeros left there. Well, I'm pretty sure I don't, because I think I only have like two zeros in the game and they're both an intro. Oh gosh, I believe I found it. Oh, I should have waited. I wait for a second so that I can jump there. Oh, and I'm not supposed to do that. Okay. It's coming back to me. But I believe it's best to go on top on all of these. Oh my god. There we go. Except here, obviously, where you can't go on top, because you will get dead. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Um, uh, uh, ah, uh, oh boy. Uh, oh my god, I can't believe I lived. There. Oh my god. Hey, that. Oh. Oh boy. That was shocking. Oh. Ooh. That was a nice, nice little jump there. And yeah, that that level, I uh Oof, I might agree with that. That might be my least favorite in the row. Bunch of drones and floor drones and awkwardly placed gold. I mean not awkward as in awkward to get to, just awkward as in the so evenly spaced and weird in old MetaNet style. Die rocket and jump over the rocket. There we go. Ooh, this one. Uh, I don't know. I've never been a fan of this one either. I don't know why it's not that bad. It's just kind of annoying. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm sure it's possible to. Uh, to cheat your way through the uh, oh, uh, the one ways at the top, but I'm bad and inconsistent with that, so not even gonna try. Okay, okay, now. Oh, come on, game. There we go. Why did I do that? It's easier to get the other wall jump at the beginning. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, this one's kind of fun. I usually am not crazy about these kinds of levels where you need to just do it a few times, but the drone placement on this one I think is good and lets you uh, have a little fun trying to do it quickly. Hey, 
Okay. Okay, two episodes left. This one was giving me trouble earlier. Not because it's hard, I just kept accidentally not jumping high enough on, uh, right here. There we go. Oh, this is one of the few levels that I actually kind of figured out a route for, because once I looked at it, it, fuck, it wasn't that hard. You just go down, follow that, and then just follow these sags down. Easy. And I'll just go here. Very nice. One episode left. Here we go. Oh, I like this level. Boop. Oh, that was probably a mistake. believe I have enough time to get this and run back. Yep. And I just might as well get all the gold, because that's what I'm apparently doing anyway. Oop. Oops. Yeah, it's fine. I got time. Okay, and then I just need to not die at the top, which I have actually done before. There we go. <clears throat> when I was practicing... Yeah, there we go. Okay. I didn't actually practice speedrunning that last level earlier. I just kind of got all the gold because it looked fun. And really, that's that's how you know that legacy levels are the best levels. I got distracted from practicing a level because the level was so much fun. This one... Oh! Hmm. That's interesting. That... Hmm. That has been my route on this level for a long time. There it goes. Okay. Good job, Toaster. I see. I just need to wait a little bit at the top. I was going up too fast. I did it again. I'll just... There. Nope. Okay. So I need to go up a little faster, but once I'm at the top, I pause for a sec. There. That's how to do it. And we're already at the last level. Oops. Oops. Again. Okay. Whatever. Also, go panic strats. Oh! Improvisation, why did you fail me? There we go. Oh, right. I kept expecting that to go one more tile down. Oh! And I thought I was going to get a small jump off of that. Oh well. Well, I've got, like, ten minutes to do this, so... I'm sure I'll be fine. There we go. And that's the kind of jumps I wanted there. And 
sure. Oh boy. Damn. Uh, yeah, time. Damn, so close to sub 50. Hmm. Well, I could try to beat that, or I could just leave it at 50 minutes, 8 seconds for, uh, for someone to look at and say, why wasn't that sub-50, and convince them to do this. I think that's probably a better strategy, so. Yeah, I'll probably submit this after I'm done streaming. Uh, anyway, though, maybe least favorite level in Legacy, this one. Ugh, it's the worst. I'm gonna hate running Eero. Only because of that level. I mean, like, D194, it's not beautiful, but it's an okay level. An X194 Slippery Trip Hazard, this is amazing. I love it, but... But, yeah. Cubish. Bleh. Metanet, what were you thinking? Yeah. Anyway. Well... Thanks for watching, Muzgrub. It's always a pleasure having you here. Um, I... Yeah, I'm gonna try to stream again tomorrow and the day after that. So, there will be more of this in the future. Have a good... Night? What is it, like 6 p.m. for you? Maybe set... Whatever. Yeah, have a good night.